Hello and welcome to the Achievement Diary, Episode 7. I get quite a few levels this episode and just a lot done, so I hope you enjoy. So I'll start off this week's levels with a fishing level, 77, getting extremely close to that goal of 91. I mean, it's only, what, 14 levels? It's not bad, right? And then I'm going to talk to this guy here, Zuan, or however you want to say his name, and of course I'm going to use it on Ruin Crafting, so you can kind of guess what level is going to be there, and that gets me to 77, which means I can craft bloods, and so I've been using my Wicked Hood quite a bit recently, and that's been gaining me a little bit more experience and stuff, so that's been helpful. And next... And get some wood cutting level and this one's not too bad it is kind of slow experience if you ask me uh, there's 78 but then again it kind of it's really afk so it, it's kind of in between so 78 and then a smithing level and i'm just going to do gold bars i think for a while because they're cheap and pretty Good experience and very AFK. So there's 76. Obviously, I need to get to 86. So 10 levels, not too bad. And then, if I ever close this screen, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get some fire making levels. And there's 86. Basically, the new quest announcement came out, and it said 90 for a while, as many of you know. And so there's 87. So I decided I'm going to get 90. And yeah. And I think, yeah, in here I kind of just caved in and bought magic logs. I got so tired of making use, and it was just magic going to be so much faster. So spent a good chunk of money on that, but I think it was worthwhile since I did manage to get 90 in one night. There's 88. It says 88, right? Yeah, 88. And here's another one coming up. 89. As you can see, I kind of messed up recording a few of these. Forgot to record until it actually leveled. I did use my penance horn for some of this as well, which helped. And here is getting very close to 90. So there's 90. So yeah, that was really quite a successful overall night. And now I just need to go do more. Then I went and did some construction. You now I did construction for a few reasons. First was, oh, there's 75. First was, I read, I was reading the quest requirements, and I read 70 con, and I just assumed it was construction. It wasn't really true, it's constitution. I just like hit points better, but, so yeah, I kind of messed up there, so, oh well. I ended up getting 76 construction, and I kind of wanted to do my, Demorak statue, so and I need a construction to do that anyway. And so yeah, just getting that done. And as you can see, I had one replica piece in my inventory anyway, and this will give me a second one, which means once I go talk to the people, such a long animation, not really too bad. Because I can only do it once a week or something like that. And there. So now I can just go to my house and add that to the plinth. Is that how you say it? Plinth? I don't know. It's 76 construction. So you can really do a lot at each construction level. So that's kind of why it's nice. It's like it's one of those skills where you go through four levels and you don't see anything new. It's every level something new. And yeah, I need to add them, use. So that's the first time I've actually completed it. So that's getting started on a 36 week journey or something like that. And then getting one more wood cutting level to finish this all off. So 79 wood cutting, as you can see, is coming up there. And. This is why it's kind of slow experience, just because you're sitting there chopping and you don't get anything for a little while. But it will be soon. There it is. And that means just one more level to go. Nothing new, though. 
Okay, for the first task today, I'm going to do a task that I was trying to do a few weeks ago, but I constantly failed, so I'm going to go actually be successful for once. Hopefully. Watch, it's like completely, something completely different, I don't even know. So, I need a boost to 85. And for that, I will pause until such a thing happens. And so yeah, pause. Okay, I finally got the plus five boost. It's a lot easier. And there, that's done. Oh. Um, I didn't really bring a weapon. This might be a long fight. Um, I'll, I'll kind of like, well, if I do that, press that, and I'll pray that. Should shorten it. But yeah, I'll pause until I get something different. So, and for my next task today, I'm just going to cook a rock tail for, for another thing to be done. So, do that, do that. Just cook some rock tails. Best come a cooking. That that one's done. And I just kind of wanted to cook some more rock tails just to do it. There we go. Okay. That means all the cooking tasks are done. And now let's have a quick look at what else I have to do. So, 86 rune crash. That's a long ways off. 85 agility. That's an approximate. Obviously, I really do need to get into the 86-ish range to get the agile leg or top or whatever it is. 86 smithing, long ways off. 91 fishing, forever off. 92 fire making. I'm getting really quite close on that one, actually. And let's see. Yes, yeah, so I only have 350k to 91 and then less than a million to 92. So actually, I'll probably have that one, hopefully, by next week. Hopefully. And back to my notes. Let's see, 92, 95 something. That's quite a ways. 80 woodcutting. That's getting pretty close. And 88 slayer. That's quite a long ways too. But I've been looking at kind of where I am in terms of tasks, not skills. Tasks. Now I have five tasks that I looks like I can complete right now, or just have to do a really short thing or something like that. That's one, two, uh, three, four, and then the last one is this one. Because I have the herb lore, I just need to do that. So that's five tasks right there. And as you can see, that's 20 tasks left, but I can do five, so that's only 15 tasks I currently have remaining. And then tasks I'm really close to, I only have like three, so like right here. It's only 78 rune crafting. If you look at my rune crafting level, it's 22k experience away. That's well within next week's range. Hint, hint. Anyway, um, let's see what else do I have. And you know, just stuff like that. I'm not gonna go through all of them for you, but basically, that's not too far. And then I'm also have like three if I get my smithing up to 86 I have like three more I could do I think those three anyway so basically I am getting quite close to being done with quite a few of these because if you do it smithing alone gets me three more I currently have eight that I'm pretty close to so that's only nine tasks left so that's quite a bit I mean quite close overall fishing's like another two and then you know, it's just kind of random after that. Summonings 2, I think, as well. And so, yeah, I'm getting... Actually, Summonings 3. Yeah, Summonings 3. So, yeah, so I'm getting quite close. And hopefully soon I will be able to complete all of these. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up the two week for 10 more weeks. So that would carry me into mid-March or so right at the start of finals, which would be actually perfect if I could finish it right before then. 
That way I don't have to do anything for finals and I can just focus on my classes. So that would be my hope, but we'll see how that works out. Well, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed getting the levels and getting very close to getting all the tasks done. So on Saturday, a new Slayer Diary will be out. Sunday, a new Barrow's Guide, so subscribe for those. And please rate and comment on this video.